hello friends in this video we are going to see about timed loop so for that first i am doing a right click on the block diagram screen here from structures under timed structures i am selecting a timed loop and dragging and placing it on the block diagram screen normally timed loop is used in labio real time programs and time loop can be used when we want to develop vi's with multi ray timing capabilities precise timing feedback on loop execution timing characteristics that changes dynamically or several levels of execution priority to configure time loop first we have to do a double click on the box on the left side top corner of this time loop so configure time loop window will open here under loop timing source for source type we have selected 1 kilohertz clock and under loop timing attribute i am selecting period as 1000 millisecond priority as 100 and then i am clicking on okay and then to view the number of iteration taking place we have to connect an indicator to the i terminal of this time loop this indicator will also get placed on the friend panel so i am dragging and placing this indicator to the center of this friend panel and i am renaming it as loop 1 after renaming now let us run this program so i am clicking on run button and executing this program since under period we have selected 1000 millisecond per second one iteration will be taking place and we can view this on the indicator placed on the friend panel and now i am clicking on stop button and stopping this program execution on a single vi we can use multiple time loop so on the keyboard if we press control button and if we click and drag this time loop copy of this time loop will be generated and now the indicator connected to the second time loop has also got placed on the friend panel we can configure this second time loop in the same way as we did before for the first time loop so on the configure time loop window of this second time loop i have just changed the period as 2000 millisecond under loop timing attribute so that this second loop will be executing once per 2 millisecond so now if we run this program on the loop 1 indicator the number of iteration increases once per second and on the loop 2 indicator the number of iterations increases once in 2 seconds now we can stop this program and i am changing the priority of this first loop to 200 so now if we run this program the loop with more priority will be executing first since the loop 1 has more priority loop 1 will be executing first and the loop 2 will be executing next and now i am stopping this program by pressing stop button next we can see how a time loop get stopped when a condition get satisfied for that first i am doing a right click on the first time loop and by clicking on add shift register i am adding a shift register to this loop so now we can see the two shift register terminals which got created on this loop then i am placing an add function inside this loop to one of its input terminal i am connecting a constant and to its other input terminal i am connecting the left side terminal of the shift register and on this constant i am giving a value as 1 and then i am connecting the output terminal of this add function to the right side terminal of the shift register next to initialize the shift register i am connecting a constant to the left side terminal of the shift register and giving 0 in it after that i am placing an equal to comparison function inside this loop to one of its input terminal i am giving the output from add function as input and to its other input terminal i am connecting a constant and giving value 5 minute so that the output from the add function get compared with the constant 5 and then i am giving the output of this equal to comparison function to the stop button of this time loop so when the output from this equal to comparison function becomes true the loop execution will get stopped so now if we run this program the first time loop will get stopped when the condition gets satisfied but the second time loop continues execution till we press the stop button since we have not given any condition to it so in this video we have seen about time loop in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you